Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm taking a look at Counter Strike Global Offensive running on Intel HD 620 graphics on a KB Lake Core i3 7100U. Uh, and we are running the game at 1366 by 768 and the medium detail settings. Uh, the game automatically detected slightly different settings, but I've just tweaked these um, just so that in this bot match that I was playing, uh, that we just had a you know consistently over 60 frames per second experience uh, obviously for a, quite a quick paced action game like this um, getting over that sort of v-sync threshold is just quite nice to make sure you have smooth performance and um, because we're playing a bot match as well there is some additional sort of cpu load so you may find if you're playing online games potentially performance may actually be a little bit better um, so it's a, quite a pleasant experience playing on it actually. Um, obviously you don't have the graphical settings as high as you might um, on a more powerful card. Uh, we were running on 1080p when we tested with Iris 540. This particular laptop um, only has a 1366 by 768 panel um, so I tested on that. Um, but it's not bad looking and if you want to play the game on your Ultrabook you're really not going to struggle with this sort of older source based title. Um, I did experience one small issue, which was I was finding the game capping to 30 frames per second at times when I was running it. Uh, this is possibly, I believe, just because of a quirk of my capture card and the title. Um, but basically I could solve it by just loading the game, changing the resolution and then changing it back. Then suddenly the frame rates would come back up. Um, even in the menus they were capped at 30 otherwise. Um, I didn't experience this on my Iris 540 system which is a Nook so was only using a single output whereas here I was using effectively two monitors duplicating. Um, so that may have been the reason for that but just something to note. Anyway I hope you found this video useful and um, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for more gaming on Intel HD 620 and other platforms. Um, let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see us testing in the future and subscribe if you want to see more as we post it. Thanks for watching.